What's good everybody, Lazy here, and we are back with some more Lords of the Fallen, and today we're going to be getting a look at four of the six new spells that got released in the new update, specifically the Inferno and Radiant spells, since I haven't gotten around to getting the Umbra ones yet, but I'm going to show you guys what the spells look like, and I will also show you guys after the showcase where I was able to farm and pick up these spells. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So first up on the list, we have Lambent Faint. This is going to perform a quick step backwards, allowing us to fire an arrow of radiant magic, which inflicts holy damage and smite buildup. And to show that off real quick. And then to show the actual damage. If I can get it to hit, of course. I actually really like this spell because it can be used as like a long range punish. And now for the next spell on the list, we have Smiting Shield. This is going to hurl a shield of radiant magic inflicting holy damage. And to show that off real quick before we show it in action. Now for the Inferno spells, the first one is going to be Seared Soul. This is going to summon a Seared Soul who will rush in the direction of an enemy before exploding, inflicting burn buildup. And to show that off real quick, uh, let me make sure. Okay, so. Honestly, I don't think the spell is that good. And for me, at least in my opinion, um, I just, I mean, unless you're just dancing around your enemy uh, waiting for this to explode, you know, the damage isn't instant. But to show that off really quick. Yeah, like I said, any other spell would have already killed those enemies by now. At least I think so. I don't think this is that great, but it's a cool spell nonetheless. And now for the final spell on the list, we have Incinerating Blast. This is going to charge up and then launch a flaming projectile inflicting fire damage. That also causes Ignite buildup, which is pretty dope. And to show that off before we show it in action...
As you can see, the spell hit for around 1,200 damage, I believe. Let's try and get it one more time. Ended up dying. That's okay. We got two lives. So as you just saw, I can hit multiple targets as well. I definitely think that this is a better option out of the two new Inferno spells. Um, the only thing that takes a, lo a little bit longer is the charge up time. But when you compare it to this, something that just kind of lingers before exploding. Um, I don't really know how viable that'll be in trying to complete whatever people are trying to complete in the game, but that's going to be it for the four new spells, Radiant and Inferno. I hope everybody enjoyed, and now I'm going to show you guys where to get these at. So Lambent Faint, if you place a vestige right here, this is going to be right before the boss fight you need to be in order to get into the Abyss area. But what you're going to want to do is place your vestige down right there and then come down here. There's going to be a dog and a sin piercer. You're going to want to get rid of the want to get rid of the dog first. So play the sin piercer. Grab her soul. And when doing so, you increase the drop rate of items. You can also use a lucky paw and that took me about five minutes but just to show that one more time run down kill the pup soul play the sin piercer And then eventually she will drop Lambent Faint. Now for the second Radiant Spell Smiting Shield, you're going to want to place a Vestige right here. This is right before talking to one of the NPCs that sell you Orius's Judgment later down the line. But from this Vestige, you're going to want to backtrack, circle around, and then there's going to be one of these enemies. Soul Flay. And then once you do that, of course, they have the chance to drop Smiting Shield. And just to show that one more time. Backtrack, go through here. Soul play the enemy. And... Like I said, they will have a chance to drop it just within with due time. Use Lucky Paws, both variations, whatever else items you guys have to boost your luck or discovery stat. So for Seared Soul, you're going to want to get the Vested Sight that is right after you beat the Fire Giant boss. You're going to want to come down this way and there's going to be a couple of Burning Souls. You're going to want to kill them. It's pretty simple. Just kill them. Run back to the... <laughs> almost a grace. Run back to the Vested Site. Rest. And you're going to want to rinse and repeat this process over and over until you get that desired spell. This one's pretty simple. And now for the last spell on the list, Incinerating Blast. You're going to want to follow the path I'm taking right now.
go ahead and rest at the vestige site to reset the enemies and then from here if you'd like to pop a lucky paw you're more than welcome to do so but you're gonna run out here and there's gonna be this ruiner and this it's any ruiner but this is a easy access you're gonna want to kill him repeatedly and then eventually he will end up dropping the spell that you guys are looking for so to show that off again really quick you're gonna want to come out here soul clay 